You guys know how much I love my wok. I am so excited about it. I get excited about kitchen appliances and utensils and dishes and pots and pans. Um, dinner time, dinner time, dinner time. Uh, pork. I'm going to do a play on an Asian barbecue ginger pork. Um, I have pork tenderloins, which I just have towel drying here. You can see, very nice. I have two of them. I am going to thin slice them because they're gonna cook super fast in my wok. Uh, we got a little sesame oil, a little soy, a little mirin, a little bit of our house made barbecue that I make at the kitchen. Got some fresh cilantro, scallions, a little bit of water chestnut for that crunch aspect, and of course, fresh ginger. So all the prep has to be done first and pretty much all that's left is peel the ginger to shred it, Cut the pork. We're gonna cut the pork, but we'll leave that for a sec. Um, obviously, I'm gonna put garlic in. Normally, I would mince it, but I don't want it minced this time. I'm gonna thin slice it. I wanna see it because I do the water chestnuts. I have scallions cut a little thin. Um, and the ginger, I'm gonna shred. So garlic, I wanna feel it when I bite it. I'm doing around seven cloves, really thin. And I am doing two pork tenderloins. Um, feeds around four to six people this portion. Gonna make some jasmine rice on the side. And once this is all done, just pour it right over the jasmine rice and you are good to go for dinner. And we love Asian. We try and do Asian like once a week. But garlic right here. Alexa, stop the timer. <sighs> Next pork. Pork. You can use cutlets if you want and thin slice them. Um, I think doing a butt or shoulder is personally going to be too fatty for this, but I'm cutting it in half just so you can kind of see doing these long strips for them. So mm, they're like a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. I'm going to run my knife through it. I want them small and thin. Just kind of like if you were to buy at the grocery store, um, the beef for stir fry, same kind of size. Going long ways with it. Not gonna season it with salt and pepper just yet. I'm gonna get it sauteing in the sesame oil first and build our sauce and season our sauce while it's all in the pan. No, I'm not throwing it on the side. I have a sheet pan with it because it's all in the prep and it's gonna be all over by the stove. So we can do this one, two, three. Ginger, so when you buy it, I've shown it on here before, you're at the grocery store, all you have to do is break off a piece that you want. Um, Ginger is very strong flavor, um, but it adds such nice flavor to food. And a little trick that I've shown, don't use a peeler, don't use a knife, use a spoon, and all you have to do is rotate it, and you see, takes it right off with taking off the least amount so, just using a spoon, going around. There we go. Once your ginger's clean, I'm gonna use, let me just show you, this side of my box grater. I want that ginger flavor, but I'm also gonna do it on top of a plate because it does reduce, re, 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 release some liquid, and I want that juice, that ginger juice, in my um, stir fry. So, peeling, grating, getting over to the range. Just so you guys can see, when you use the box grater for the ginger, the fiber part stays on the outside and see what falls is just the grated ginger. Ginger is very, very fibrous. So this is a great way to do it. You can also use a microplane or a microplane. Oh, I'm getting it. One of these, multiple uses, really up to your preference. The whole thing with a wok is quick cooking, hot, high heat. That's why the sides are built up like this so that you can move the food around so we have this on high heat. Just using a little bit of sesame oil in the base of my pan. Just going around with that. And the first thing that's going in, my garlic. Two seconds, quick saute, then we're gonna add in the pork. It's all in the prep. As you know, here is everything for our Asian barbecue and ginger pork. Pork, our shredded ginger, our water chestnuts, homemade barbecue sauce, scallion, cilantro, fresh garlic, a little soy, and rice wine vinegar. And of course, we got our wok going ready for the sizzle. Wok is really hot. You can see it. I just added in a little bit of sesame oil. 
first thing going in for the quick saute, Woo. garlic. And we have everything ready. Our ginger shredded. So getting the garlic in, moving that around. It's a quick saute. That's what the wok's for. High heat, high sides, quick saute. All our pork thinly sliced. Like I said, when you prep things out, have it all ready to go over by the range. One, two, three. Putting the pork around the side. Woo! Sizzle. Cut. Getting this in. It's thinly sliced. This is not going to take a long time to cook. And we're going to build our sauce right in this pan. Perfect. Our pork is pretty much well sauteed on every side. I'm going to add my ginger in right now. Woo! Just automatically, like bam, the smell. It just like takes it to another level. Uh, then we're going to add in our fresh cilantro. Going to add in our water chestnuts. Remember, I just get them sliced in the can, drain. I love them because they add the crunch aspect. You really could add any veggies you want, but I'm keeping this super simple because it's going to go over some rice. But you can load this up with veggies if you want. I guess it takes it to another level of making it more of um, like a veggie stir fry. And our barbecue sauce. So this you can find on our YouTube channel. I make homemade barbecue sauce. Ours does have a little bit of hoisin in it. So I like that when it comes to that Asian feel and I feel like it's perfect for a dish like this. When we make our barbecue sauce, I do do the brown sugar and all that, but I do put a really nice heaving serving of hoisin in there. So we're just gonna pour this right on in. Um, if you make our barbecue sauce, shelf life's around three months and I keep them in a mason jar. That's just me. Gonna stir this. Now we gotta add a couple other flavors. So I'm gonna add a little bit of soy instead of salt and a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Kind of give it that acid, that pop. You can also add a little bit of fresh lime if you like it this time. Um, nice. Okay, a little bit of soy. Ooh, the ginger, perfect. We're gonna let this cook for maybe 10 minutes. Quick. Get the rice done. All right, I lied, it was eight minutes. I've let this go for eight minutes. It's simmered, I checked the pork, it's fully cooked through. A shit ton of scallions, that's your garnish. And this sauce didn't need any cornstarch because of the barbecue, it is nice and shiny and glossy and coating. This is gonna be beautiful over some rice. And it is perfect. If you make it, Please tag us, DM me, let me know how it comes out. If you don't do it with pork, feel free to do a chicken. I suggest chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. But I think this is an easy weeknight dinner. One, two, three, ready to go. And don't forget, just have your prep ready because it's all in the prep. Let me know how it comes out.